So good morning, welcome back to Jimmy's training. So this morning we'll be making a tote bag. We'll be using they're making a tote bag. So there are different kinds of materials in making tote bag. We have the chinos, there is um jean material, then there's leather. And the leather I'll be making use of leather. So this is called a stock original taffeta, which does not peel off. And our tote bag would be having an inner lining inside. We'll be having a mixture of a mixture of um, fabric. This is the fabric we'll be using. This is the fabric we'll be using. Just a mixture of a mixture of it. So I cut it out already. But the measurements for the normal measurement for tote bag is 16 by 16. 16 braids, 16 length. When you, that's the length will be 32 instead. So you can see. You can see this is it so this is a 32 length by 16 but this is a normal measurement for a tooth bag for the handle we'll be cutting 3 by 50 depending on how long you want your handle to be 3 by 50 so i will cut the handle now and also cut out the lining so uh we are done with the cutting you can see this is just a design i'll just be putting it i'll be placing it on the body guys i'll sew it on the body of the tooth bag this is our undo our undo and also our lining you make sure that the lining is equal with the tooth bag now when i mean equal it should be exact not leaving any allowance at both side you can see you can see how it is yeah then you can see the sides are actually equal actually equal so this is our inner line i'm sorry my lining is squeezed it's this is what we'll be using anyways so you can see it you can see how it is being do, done though there are different ways there are different ways of sewing a tooth bag different ways of sewing a tooth bag but i'll show you one style now so we'll be doing one now so this is yeah, this is it so i want to go and start sewing it and look at the outcome of it stay tuned so we are done fixing the arm the next thing to do is to sew it at the tip there just tiny so Make sure that you are going to sew it down with the you sew it down with the lining inside like this. So you can see it's like this. Then I'll be sewing it down with 0.3 inches. I'll sew it down with the lining. Zero point three inches. Three inches. Zero point three inches. See the way I'm doing it. Make sure you sew it down the lining. Sew it down the lining and sew it equal. Cool. Then cut out the excess of the lining at you cut it out, yes, yes. Cut it out. Then you sew the other part too. So you can see we've sewn this side. So you sew here. Just watch out to see what will be the outcome. So you sew that 3 point, 0 0.3 inches down. 
straight down. I'm about to sew, remember to sew it with the lining. Sew it with the lining. Check if I'm seeing it with the edges are pointed out. The edges are pointed out like this. So you begin at the side 0.32. But make sure that the part you sewed is not coming out. Make sure it is fair. Normally, as I mean, I was using a fabric like a genus material, I would have ironed it so I can get the accurate medium because I'm using a leather to so sew it. I will just make sure that. All edges are coming out pointed. Then I sew it down. I sew it with, let's say, zero point five inches down. Make sure it is firm. The whole parts of it is squeezing, so you get a firm, so you get a firm surface. So the same way you do for the other to the other side also. Very high. Inches, you saw zero point five inches down. Because of blind, there is only for you to weave the edges again. So you sew it inside. So make sure your pointed edges are coming outside very, 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 very. Assuming I was in a chinos leather, a chinos material or gem or a fabric, I would do it to iron it. So you can see our tooth bag is ready. 
You can also attach the zip if you wish to attach the zip. You just attach the zip to the top. So you can see how neat and how spacious our paper, our paper looks like. Yeah. So see you next in our, see you next in our tutorial. See you in our next tutorial anyways. See you in our next tutorial. Thank you.